What's up, Mo? 6.30-ish, heading to a, uh, another trail run with Sid. Uh, this is one of my favorites around this town called Casper. Well, not in the town, but in the trails above it. I uh, have not eaten a single thing since 5.30 the day before. Uh, last night at 5.30, I finished eating. I haven't had anything except for water. I'm gonna drink uh, a little bit of this before I go out. Uh, why does that matter? Tell you in a bit. Underground, yeah. I'm counting days just for fun. Adding up the time till it was done. And I'm walking back and forth to forget where I've begun. And I'm circling wise and See which is more fun Yes, I'm serpent wise and foolish To see which is more fun Handing over I'm giving all of it Through asking what is true And I'm taking all the memory I'm leaving them with you I'll be coming back for them when All the black is blue Yes, I'll be coming back for them when all the black is blue The sandstorms will cover everything From wasted ideas to torture us I bring in, I bring in I feel lost without you But I will, I'm gonna find a way But I will but I will, I'm gonna find a way It matters because if I can just get up and drink a glass of water and go on a run, I can sleep in more, so that's more rest. Uh, and also, you know, my body is stronger as a result of this intermittent fasting I'm doing. I don't give a crap about intermittent fasting, except that it allows me to do stuff better. My body and mind are stronger because of it, and I get to sleep in because I can just drink a glass of water and hit the road. So about four months ago, before my own 50K, my Merrill shoes that I put about 500 miles on finally tanked out, I hadn't bought a new pair, so I started wearing these which I got in Scotland when I was speaking there in 2015. I had them, I hadn't gotten new running shoes, so I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and, and, and just start running in these, see how they go. They're fine. Why does that matter? It matters because I don't have to spend a bunch of money on a new pair of shoes that I don't need. At my level, these shoes run fine. And I will tell you that the work I did about five years ago on my own running gait, when I completely changed the way that I run, allows me to run in just flimsy ass shoes like this and have a great time doing it. This is for my level of running, by the way. I'm not a freaking elite runner. Kind of nice, I don't have to stress out about buying a new pair of shoes every six months. It's warm enough now I can run in these, uh, this, these kinds of shirts again, which I really, really enjoy. Why does it matter? Because uh, I, don't, I stopped giving a crap about name brands and stuff, and that's how I can sort of put this whole outfit on. And I don't have to spend a bunch of money on uh, running clothes and running gear that I don't care about, don't need, and I can spend that money on uh, a whole bunch of other better stuff uh, for me. And on the intermittent fasting note, existing on water only, being able to function not only okay, but actually better without any kind of blood sugar swings or anything. Why does that matter? Because 
I'm not. I'm less locked into meal times. I'm less locked into to structure and routine during the day that opens me up to the other work that I want to do. Why am I training myself to enjoy food less? Because it doesn't lock me into one area that I associate with joy. It's opened me up to looking for it in other areas. And also so that during those times where it is about food, I enjoy food more. The work I'm doing on myself, the work that I'm helping other people do on themselves is for one reason and one reason only, to find more joy. Not to intermittent fast for the sake of intermittent fasting, not to restrict diet for the sake of restricting diet, not to run in a certain way so that they don't have to buy new shoes. This is about joy, this is about living overall with less constraint, less rule, less routine. This is about expression and, and freedom.